Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to work on one of the trickiest but one of the most important postures you can do in yoga, headstand or shushasana. This pose has been called the king of postures because there's so many benefits to the posture. But I've noticed a lot of students have a tough time getting into it, often because they have fear about being upside down, they just can't balance, or oftentimes they're just afraid of hurting their neck or they have neck injuries or shoulder injuries. That's totally cool, very common. So I want to teach you this super special, awesome secret that'll help you get into the pose to experience being upside down and also prepare you then to move forward if you would like to pursue other variations of the pose. So I'm going to start with four blocks today. One, two, three, four. I'm going to grab those blocks and come over to the wall. You're going to place the first two blocks on the flat, the, the biggest side, on the ground, up away from the wall, like this. So they're long angle out away from the earth, about, away from the wall but there's just wide enough for your head to fit between them. So one head width between those two blocks, they're pretty much about, oh, one inch or so off the wall. We take the other two blocks then and place them on top, but at the slimmest angle, so like this. So they go right slice down the middle with the thinnest angle on top. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And make sure that those blocks are lined up right down the middle of the bottom block, okay? It's important. So each of these blocks is lined up right over the middle, nice and flush, cool? I've got the bottom blocks about one, barely one head width, so your head will just barely fit in there. Now, we're going to go, begin to come into this by taking the top of your head, lining it up right down the middle of all those blocks. Your shoulders will come right in the middle of the top blocks. So I'm going to bring my hands in front, slightly outside of the bottom blocks, and then slowly tuck my head in here so that I feel my shoulders lining up right there. You can kind of see this right in the middle of those top blocks. You may need to move around a little bit. You may need to adjust your blocks so they're closer or further apart. Cool, so once you feel that your shoulders are basically softly pressing on the upper blocks, make sure your hands are flat and so your wrists are lined up under your elbows. So creating kind of a tripod prep. Tuck your toes, then, and straighten your legs out. So this is the first stage. If it's uncomfortable, come down and start again. If you feel that you're well supported by the blocks on your shoulders, your head may be just touching barely or, or off the floor a little bit, that's cool. You can start to walk your feet in towards your head. Take your time, feel that support, and breathe. Now maybe that's as far as you come today, just getting a nice inversion effect. Awesome. Or if you're ready to begin coming into the pose, remember, don't jump. No jumping. None. No, no, no. What we're going to do here is ground our hands best we can and see if you can push down and start to lift your knees up. Maybe just one knee first and then try your other knee. When you feel ready, maybe you can even push down and lift both your knees up really strongly lifting from my belly so my butt and my hips are touching the wall. Maybe you stay there a bit and then bring it down. Or from here, bring your knees up and then even extend your legs up towards the sky. Good, so that eventually here, we've got minimal weight on the head, neck is supported by the shoulders, and I can begin with my feet together, resting heels on the wall, breathing deeply, experiencing the effect of being upside down. Maybe stay there for three or five breaths. When you're ready, use your hands to slowly, slowly, keyword, bring your feet down to the floor, and just take a break in child's pose for a moment when you're done. Just relax, take a deep breath. Good. And then after you're all through, you can gently sit back up and experience the benefits of your headstand. Great work today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more, if you're interested in to keep playing with me, try out some of my other awesome classes, come check out my new online studio. It's powhow, P-O-W-H-O-W dot com slash Tyler Yoga Studio. Um, you'll see a link at the bottom there. Hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.